Welcome everybody, it's Jeff Eichen and we are virtual and we're excited and we're here to share and to lecture you on tips and tricks. The name of my class is Shots on the Water, a digital photography tips and trick, tricks <laughs> lecture about photography and the things you need to take with you, um, things you need to be aware of and um, just let it loose. Let everything out, everybody. I'm really excited to uh, be here teaching with the virtual um, Wooden Boat Festival. It's so beautiful to um, get out of my pocket here, my activism and my creating art here by myself in my own house and share photography with you. I've taught photography my whole life and uh, Photoshop especially, and I'm really excited about teaching you today. So today we're going to share with you a little bit about cameras uh, first here. It's the cameras your father gave you or my father gave me and that's my Hasselblad. I've been working with that for quite a while. All film cameras here are legal and special and since most Bodies are, are, um, love their brass and their fine fixings Here's a beautiful uh, Leica that I have. It's my M3, and it's a double stroke, but it's really quiet. And it's a double stroke, and it's a beauty. It's my Leica, and it has the original, the original strap on it. And I just love sharing my goodies with you. I even have one of the first folding cameras ever. This is one of the first pocket, boom, cameras size of a cigarette can, carton. I don't know how they did that. They Cigarette cartons, you know, um, and things that fit through doors like furniture, you know, all doors. But this is the first folding camera. I think it's a Kodak and it's a beauty and um, it's all film. And so it's in the collection and 
then there's the digital cameras that most of us have. We have um, digital cameras that this has a fixed lens on it and it's a beauty. It's a really nice uh, beauty. So what we're going to do today, oh, and by the way, I do have an original leather pouch for, again, all you leather hounds out there that are um, into your boating incredible stuff that is handmade in leather. This is an original Polaroid. I used to be Mr. Polaroid in um, California in the early days, and that's one of the most beautiful cameras ever made, and there it is. It's a classic. So it's like a Porsche. <laughs> Look at that, baby. And this one is in great shape. So I love my Polaroids. I love to shoot Polaroids. But today, I'm going to share with you my knowledge, my incredible um, time with designing my first two books. And my book that I made for the Wooden Boat Festival last year is finished and complete and I'm really proud of it and I'm going to show you a little bit of how I did it and um, when it's your book you can do whatever you want the front the back and you can also do all of the inside um, they call these the fold outs and I'm really excited about you know saying what feels good to me says here, I grew up in Southern California and was on the water often. My father had a houseboat in Lake Shasta, and when we moved to Newport Beach in my junior year in high school, um, we were in the beer canner races every Wednesday with, we were racing Etchells. I think they were Etchells 40s or something. They were huge, and there was a lot of money down there, but so is Port Townsend. Um, I moved to live in Port Townsend in 2003. I was ready to take back the water as my canvas, and I grabbed my cam uh, that grabbed my camera soul. That's what it says here. It says enjoy, enjoy. And um, by the way, all my photos are for sale. And um, here are some classics from my book here. And I love reflections, so. A lot of my photographs in, the, in slides today will be reflections. And don't forget to, um, to tell the whole story while you're making your way through your day of photography. I love to shoot into the light. And I love to, because when you shoot into the light, you get specular highlights on the water. So don't be afraid to shoot in the light. Just get the sun behind that sail. Watch the boat go, travel it. You have motor drives now. And then this shot here was actually my friend's airplane. So that was fun. And these are shots from my book. And I want you to visualize your photography on your wall in your home. That's what Ansel Adams taught us. He said, pre-visualize the final shot. So once you learn Photoshop, you can actually turn your pictures into cartoons and also use your motor drive so you get full sails and full flags when you're shooting flags. Um, that's really important. And um, don't forget to take uh, still panoramas. They're really beautiful. That's the, the um, downtown Point Hudson. And in Port Townsend, and see if I can get you a couple more here. Um, that's a beauty. That was the first shot that I ever took when I moved to Port Townsend. That one's called I See You. And did I give everything on here? And there's another shot there. And then there's a, a backlit shot that I love. I love doing the backlit shot. So don't be afraid to do your books. This book is mine. This book is here and now. And it's done. So I can put this on the shelf and say, that was my trip to Tahiti. That was Well, we're in Corona, everybody. And that's why we're doing virtual Wooden Boat Festival. And I believe that it's a perfect time to do a book project. Go through your archives, 
clean up it, clean up your Lightroom and be magnificent. So let's see here if I can open up some Lightroom for you here. Okay, everybody, we have our film, our card that we use to take out of our camera. Pretend this is a digital camera. We pull it out and we put it into our computer and we get it to a desktop or an area where we take that imagery to in Lightroom. So Lightroom is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to bring you into Lightroom here. So we're in Lightroom right now and Lightroom is really cool. Um, I'm a keyboard shortcut kind of guy and um, and so I'll teach you a few little keyboard shortcuts here. If you hit G, G will take it into a grid mode. And so the grid mode um, sounds like somebody from um, James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. So here we got our grid mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our finder. We're in a Mac here. And we're going to go to our Wooden Boat Festival folder here. And we're just going to take one photograph out of here. And this is my shortcut here. Um, I take it and I drag it. And then I go back to, um, to Lightroom here. And I drop it in there. And it's going to bring everything in that front folder that's like it into here. So we wait for the spinning beach ball of death here. And... Here it comes. So this is how you import from a card or from your digital files on your computer. And it highlights with a check mark the photograph that you want. But if you take all these other photographs here and you want them, you hold down Shift key, you highlight the one you want, you hold down Shift, and it'll take a whole block. And then on your, on your keyboard, you hit the space bar and it will, you hit it twice and it'll check everything. So now you import it, but you be, sh you be sure you know where you're sending it to. So you're sending it to um, my external hard drive and it's coming from the external drive, but it's not in here yet. So you can either copy it, which I don't want to copy it twice. I want to add them. So what we're going to do is say add instead of copy, and that will leave them at their location where they're at because they're already on the hard drive. So if I was taking them off my card, if I was taking them off my card, everybody, um, which is your, um, your, your, your film card, if I was taking them off there, I would definitely import them. Okay, so be careful and check your stuff twice, just like woodworking. Uh, measure twice before you cut, sometimes three times, and um, there you go. So now we're going to hit import, and I'll give you a few um, strokes of genius here for photography. Like I said earlier when I was showing you my book, it's really fun to shoot into the sun and um, get the sun behind a, um, a mast uh, and, and a uh, sail. And then you get the specular highlights on the water, and they're really beautiful. So here comes our files here. We're not bringing them all in. We're just bringing a, a few of these, of these photographs in here. Okay. So we'll show you a little bit about, a little tutorial about um, uh, the possibilities of Photoshop and making a book, you know. Um, my book was so much fun to make. Um, I really enjoyed the, um, you know, of formalizing my story. So if you got a story and it's already done, I mean, you've been out on the water, you photographed your whole journey and you don't know what to do. Well, for gosh sakes, like I said before, we're in COVID and take your time and make your book, everybody. It's really, it's really that easy to make your own book and, um, and upload it. And I use Blurb. Blurb is the, um, is a company that I use. It's really nice to work with their software to make a book happen. And if I get inspired, I will put a little bit about that up there. But so let's just highlight one picture, one of my cards here. 
I hit the space bar and it comes to fit the screen. So these are the possibilities of Photoshop. You can't do drop shadows or type in Lightroom, but Lightroom's a very beautiful place to organize your files. And so again, you hit G on your keyboard and it goes back to grid and you can select all or some of them and you can go all the way in here. Like if I just wanted to select the, um, the posters, I would hit one poster and I would hold down the command or the control button and I would just get the posters and I would go here and then I would go all the way down to see if I have a wooden boat um, folder already made. If not, I'll show you how to do that. Um, so I do have a wooden boat folder made here. I'll right click that and I'll rename this folder since I'm working in here. It's very intuitive. Adobe works intuitively. So 20. So what I'm doing is I'm adding to the 19 and, and calling that 19 and 20. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, right click on that folder. That's a main collection folder. And I'm going to create a sub collection in there called um, Wooden Boat Festival Old Posters. So these aren't posters that I submitted for the poster contest, but, um, but I have before and they're beautiful. So create and then just those photographs are going to go in there and you'll see there they are. So they're in the 1920 and they're the wooden boat old posters and there's five of them. But if you scroll back up all the way to the top, you can see that the previous import is still there and these other photographs did not get imported. So we'll highlight those and we'll go boom, boom, boom. And we'll go back down to that folder, that wooden boat folder. Should be all the way down at the bottom. There it is. And then we'll right click that and we'll put those in as um, Wooden Boat Festival Lecture 2020. 2020. Okay, so those are going into the lecture portion of things. And so that's exactly how I organize my Lightroom. And if you want a tutorial on Lightroom, you can always find me at um, ramastaygoods.com or lifersthemovie.com and I'm findable um, for tutoring, uh, for imagery, and for anything else um, photographically for on the water and for tips and tricks. So these are some tips from, uh, from Lightroom. In fact, I'll show you here. Uh, let me take the, um, the schooner or later shot here and I'll right click that and I'll edit this in Photoshop here and that'll send it all the way over to Photoshop. So here it is in Photoshop and in Photoshop um, I can tell you that that's a little bit dark for me so I'm going to open up the um, there's a raw filter um, that mimics the Lightroom sliders and I really like it. So I'm going to open that up a little bit so I get the water a little bit brighter and then I'm going to bring the highlights down on that, bring the clouds down a little bit. So I like it that way and I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to save that. So there is my edit, okay? And so there's my edit. So what I'm going to do now is go back into Photoshop here and show you one super duper trick here is um, I'm going to do a type tool, which is the T tool, and I'm going to do 46 points. And I don't know who Laura is, Lorem. <laughs> It's like the guy from Saturday Night Live. And I'm going to say um, Wooden Boat Festival. Um,
say OK. And then I'm going to give them a drop shadow. And I'll show you how to do a drop shadow in Photoshop. You go to the FX tab while your layer with your type is on there, highlighted. You go to the FX and you go drop shadow. And it should be set pretty good. Let's see here. So I like to do 130 uh, or 120. We'll go 127. And I like to spread it a little bit. That blurs it out a little bit, the spreading and the size. Seven, let's go to 20. There we go. And then I like to take it down. Not so, I don't like things, uh, the drop shadows to be fakey. So we go there and we go, OK. And wooden boat photography, OK. And then the cool thing is, is that I want to even play further. There we are. Okay. And then we can change to this tool up here. If you roll over any tools in Photoshop, it'll and you ho you hover over it, it'll tell you what the um, what the keyboard shortcut is, and that's the move tool. That's the V tool. So we're going to take the V tool. We are going to use our arrows to lift the type. So there you go. Now I can save that again. There okay. it is, right there. And we're going to grab it and put it right into Lightroom. And we're going to go boom. And we're going to go import. And this is so we can keep everything together while we're working on projects, especially on books. You want everything in the same folder. So enjoy your photography experience. Enjoy your on the water experience. And there you go. It's right there. To be seen and you can hit the D for develop mode and we are getting a little bit of Lightroom and Photoshop today so here it is in Lightroom and on to the next thank you so much I will be back good evening everybody it is me your instructor on digital photography shots on the water with tips and tricks from Jeff Eichen, and I'm really excited to be um, wrapping this up for you. It's just a short uh, little experiment today on teaching you how to get busy with Lightroom. And I just really want to share with you that it's okay to shoot into the sun, get specular highlights, organize your photo world, and have fun. And for your keys and your most important things, um, put floaties on them. Don't put a floaty on your camera because you ain't going to drop it. <laughs> but be careful. Um, I have my, uh, my photo vest on that I use all the time. It's got zipper pockets for the wind. And they, um, it's kind of like a, like a fishing jacket, but um, it has these um, quick entries for lens caps and dusting um, pieces and other lenses. So be careful when switching lenses on boats. Um, do them over the cushions and take your time. There's no rush in um, being on the water with photography. And so that's really important to be gentle and, um, and anticipate your shot. Watch the boats move through um, even through the, the, the masts and the sails, you can see when it's time to click that photo when the boat becomes available <laughs> um, between what you're shooting through. Because people are going to be moving around and you want to be careful. You don't go in the drink. You got expensive gear. And it's not about you. It's about the journey. So you're part of the journey, you're part of the whole, but be invisible and wear your vest and your floaty vest on you and your keys and be safe, be good. If it's super wet out or if it's raining, um, get some umbrella gear or some plastic for your camera. But otherwise, um, have fun and wash your cameras off 
every time with an alcohol swab after you get out of the salt water and your cameras will stay forever. You don't want to dry out with salt water uh, your seals that make your camera uh, water resistant. Okay, so enjoy your journey. Um, here we're going to do a little bit of book write and show you how to upload two pages uh, to a book so you're not scared about doing the book. So I'm going to go to book write right there. And here is book write. So book write's really cool. It's the blurb um, technology here. Go away. Okay. So here is book write. Book write is the tool that I use to bring in all my photographs to my book. This is a magazine layout that I've been working on for um, for my last Photoshop class uh, that we did a nine week course, um, which I'm going to be offering uh, in the fall here. So I imported, I clicked on the plus button here, and I imported um, some photographs here to show you how to bring them in to the book ride. So I just drag it in there and lo and behold it's there. It's all um, justified right. You can move, move, use the move tool to right or left. You can also um, overwrite this with other type. It has type and I'll show you here when you bring this photograph into here um, you can also uh, change your type by double clicking. Let's see, is this a editable type? Yeah, that's editable. So you go Command A and you go um, O Happy Day One Boat Festival B I R T U A L virtual 2020. So we're on our virtual 2020 wooden boat festival, and we will try to see if we can uh, get rid of this dialogue, and we will be happy 2020 text flow. We're good. So you can move your text flow around too. You can move the text up and it'll center it. It's really a beautiful program. It'll lock it into the center. And so you're always professional making books with BookRite. BookRite is just phenomenal. And up here it even lets you zoom in to see how you're doing. Even happier. Look at that. So um, it's just freaking happy this. Uh, Book write is just so fun. And so I did, um, let's see, about um, 12 or 15 hours, uh, two or three different sessions. And I did all my pages um, so they would look, not the, the panorama, but so they would flow together. Um, one of my teachers said, um, photography shows are the dance. Um, Ansel Adams said, the landscape is his score and the photographs are his symphony. So they're his music. So, um, so they work and they flow together. Um, that's what I was taught, how to make photographs lean into themselves um, and just really work, you know, work together. And so that's my book and this is Book Ride. And now I'm going to give you a little slideshow, and we are done. Enjoy my work, and uh, contact me any way you can on or through my Facebook. I'm easy to find. And thank you so much. And fair winds, and don't put your camera in the drink. <laughs> Jeff Eichen here. Enjoy my slides. Hello everybody and welcome to our slideshow portion. I'm going to be very brisk and move through this incredibly efficiently so we can get on with our day and with our show. I'm really excited that you're with us today on Shots on the Water, digital photography tips and tricks. 
I'm up here in the corner here, everybody, keeping an eye on you. Photoshop is really my favorite tool for editing images. And there we go. So don't forget to shoot reflections and through things and These are all the different cameras, the old ones and the new ones. Expensive and inexpensive. Don't forget our heroes. I met Ansel when I was 17, everybody. At a workshop in Yosemite. It was very beautiful. These are all the automations, the program mode, shutter priority. And don't leave home without your camera. You never know what you're gonna get, what's gonna be out there. The sunset, the wind, the breeze, the dog jumping in the water. Put the motor drive on, keep it on. This guy lived to be 90. So when you're doing what you like to do, I think it <clears throat> helps your antioxidants and it helps you to be younger when you're doing what you like. Black and white versus color. Sunsets are not boring. Learn how to crop and straighten in Lightroom and in Photoshop. And don't forget, black and whites come in all different tones. So you can have a cold tone, black and white, or a sepia. It's up to you. And you can add more blacks to them. You can get as creative as you want. Nobody's telling you not to make a blue photo. And there's my final. Don't forget panoramas are beautiful. If boats are moving or people are moving, the panoramas get really like they're from outer space. People will be going across your picture. It's kind of cool. And learn how to punch the, um, the contrast and the saturation. Look at all your abstracts and your shadows. Follow your world around. These are the people at the Wooden Boat Festival from the past. Locals playing music. People teaching. <clears throat> people enjoying our boats in the water. Don't forget found objects. Adjust the color, neutralize that, learn how to do that in Lightroom and Photoshop. 
I like to photograph my food. <laughs> so don't forget to look up. Challenge all you know. Surprise yourself and others. Here's me teaching back in 2008. Woo! And remember that Adobe uh, Creative Cloud now is only $9.95 a month for Lightroom and Photoshop. So get yours today. And remember, all classes and schedules are going to be on my ramasdaygoods.com and um, all my images, my books, and everything. So here's my walkabout from last year. So don't forget, black and white in color, desaturate, saturate, and have fun with your photography. Open your shadows up. This is one of my favorite shots there. Sorry, I keep going back to it, but it's only holding for a minute. It won't let me pause it. So love that shot. And black and white in color. And thank you. So. I appreciate you all, and it's been really a great pleasure of mine to uh, to join you today. I'm going to be here, right here. Um, I'm on my. I'll put myself inside my <laughs> inside my poster here, and thank you so much for joining us today. Photoshop is not scary. It's intuitive, and same with Lightroom. And if you need me, you know how to find me now. And thanks so much, and fair winds, everybody. See you next time. And thank you, Wooden Boat Virtual Festival 2020. I'm out. Thank you so much for enjoying my class, my show, and being safe on the water. Fair winds. Namaste and thank you so much for enjoying and being digital. Oh, don't forget to take the lens cap off. <laughs> See you soon. And don't break a leg. <laughs>